Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Conrad, the director of the Society of Physics Students and a part-time lecturer here at the University of Maryland. This is the egg crusher. And so what we have in front of you is a selection of things. The first is we have eggs, just standard eggs. Uh, we also have big, heavy bricks, about 25 pounds. And then we also have this contraption. This is actually just a really fancy way for us to apply pressure or force to the egg and have no individual one pressure point. So first, this is just a solid aluminum piece with this is foam so I can push it with my finger and it deforms a little bit. And you can see it's a solid about one thumb high or about one inch high, which is nice. And then if I take, this is just a plastic shield used to protect people from flying egg pieces when things don't go very well. And then as you can see here, this is just an aluminum, aluminum piece and a playing with a window inside. And then there's another piece of foam in here that I can push. So I'm gonna set this back down and then I'm gonna put the shield in place. Actually, I'll take the shield off for a second. But what I wanted to talk to you about before we get started is why I have all these things in front of you. So most people think, why are eggs the way they are? Because you can imagine a universe where maybe eggs are spheres, or maybe they're blocks, or maybe they have sharp edges. But one of the crazy things about eggs is that over many, many thousands, hundred thousands, millions of years, eggs have, this is the optimal shape of the egg according to biology. And what I would like to show you is that if I take the egg and squeeze it this way, it absorbs the force really, really well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the egg and I'm gonna place it inside the cavity. And what I have to do is make sure that the egg is per standing straight up. Because if it's off a little bit, it, it will not take nearly as much force. So that is my best guess. Rotate it a little bit. That's my best guess as at it being perfectly straight up. We will put the splash guard in place. Okay. And so now I'm going to ask you to guess how many bricks I can place on top of this. So now let's do the more dangerous part of the experiment of can it sustain at least one big iron brick? And if I remember correctly, these iron bricks are it's legitimately heavy and it's about 25 pounds. So that's 25 pounds, plus we'll call it five pounds for the plunger, so that's 30 pounds. I'm gonna take my second brick, and you'll notice I'm being very gingerly, very gingerly touching everything. I'm gonna put my second, so this, if it holds this, it's 55 pounds on the egg. Okay. Now if I were to take the table and hit it, it would cause an, an, a very quick acceleration of everything on the table. And for a moment, there'd be a whole lot more force on that egg as this bobs up and down and everything would shatter, but we're not gonna do that. And then I'm gonna take my third big giant brick. So if I put this on there, that's a total of 75 plus five or 80 pounds. There we have 80 pounds on the egg. So now I'm gonna take this all off. And you see the plunger went up there, so proof that it's an actual real egg, but you're probably saying, oh, that's not a real egg, or he boiled it or something. So what I'm gonna do is take the egg back out. And as you can see, just a normal egg, that breaks. And the, way we're, the reason we were able to do this demonstration is that the force was equally applied over the top and bottom of the egg, so the pressure was the same. And because of the structure of the egg, because of the arch structure, it's able to sustain a very large force because the force actually comes down and is distributed evenly all around the sides of the egg. And that is the egg crusher. Mm -hmm.